I cried because some part of me just knew. Knew that the real world was the one back in the dark. Dangerous. Vicious. And it was only a matter of time before those long, dirty fingers came for this bright one and pushed through the paper. Today, on the Comic Book Report Comics by Night, Noctera, Volume 1, Full Throttle Dark. Stick around and check it out. Good evening, all. My name is Dominic, and you're watching The Comic Book Report, where we review comic books and graphic novels so you can get an idea of what to read. All month long, we've been doing our salute to horror and Halloween-themed content during my Comics by Night event. Welcome to the last week, where we'll be taking a look at Scott Snyder and Tony S. Daniels' Noctera. But first, here are some quick facts about today's collection. Noctera was written by Scott Snyder and penciled by Tony S. Daniel. The issues collected in this volume were published by Image Comics in 2021. This first trade paperback collection collects Noctera issues 1 through 6 and comes in at 168 pages. Right now, I'd like to issue a general spoiler warning. I will be flipping through this collection more or less in its entirety and will be commenting on some plot points throughout. You've been warned. And without further ado, here is the volume in question. This is the first trade paperback collection of Noctera. It's a standard size trade with a very glossy finish. As you can see, we have some beautiful cover art along with the names of the creators and the name of this volume one, which is Full Throttle Dark. Moving now to the spine, you can see a very clear layout with some of the same information there. Again, a good run of the mill image trade paperback. And as we make our way to the back, you can see the description of this collection along with those creators again, some of their bona fides, and of course some accolades and people commenting. It might be worthy to note that this collection is rated M for Mature. It's an action-adventure supernatural horror series, and so far it appears to be rated that mostly for gore and some profanity. But nothing too severe in my opinion, but to each their own. As we make our way into the collection proper here, you'll see a lot of that front matter, reiterating again some of this book's information before delving into the issues themselves. And immediately something I love about this trade is that it reproduces the issues covers, it'll give you the number of the issue, and as a collector who doesn't collect single issues, I adore this. I love to see the covers that were actually on the issues themselves. It gives me a really good sense of place as I read the collection, and it shows me exactly what the creators wanted to see before I opened that issue. The paper stock is really solid. I would consider it a light gloss finish. It's definitely not a matte, and it feels pretty sturdy for my money. Before we get much further, I just want to give a brief blurb of how I came across this collection. I've been a huge fan of Scott Snyder ever since I first read some of his earlier Batman work, like Batman The Court of Owls, and of course, Batman The Black Mirror. Throughout the years, I've read some of his other work and just adored it. When I heard he was doing a series through Image that was a horror action series, I had to check it out and could not wait to see the trade come out. And as for the penciler he's paired with this time, it's Tony S. Daniel, whose work I was most familiar with for his Detective Comics run in the New 52. He has some really great character models, some clean line work, and I just really enjoy his sense of place and his detail. It never feels dirty or cluttered, and I just really like his style. And I have to say, I think he's at the top of his game during this collection myself. And here's a perfect example of it. As for the story itself, for those that are window shopping this collection, Noctera takes place in a world that has been in complete darkness for about 13 years. We're talking no sun, no stars, just empty darkness. But more than the darkness itself, it's the danger inherent with this darkness. Because in the world of Noctera, anything that remains in the darkness becomes mutated and transformed. Plant life, animal life, and human life all become these gruesome, monstrous shades, these evil shadow creatures that prey on all of those still living in the light. And after 13 long years, all of these species of shades have crossbred, making anything still there unrecognizable. And now all that remains are these small, close-knit communities that are covered in artificial lights. These last vestiges of humanity cling to life as they cling to the lights around them. 
in the midst of all of this are the ferrymen who transport goods, cargo, and people from port to port through the darkness. We follow Val Riggs, the ferryman known as Sunspot, as she continues to try to make her way in the world. Throughout these pages, we're introduced to her brother as well as some of her transportees as they make their way through this shadowscape. Before long, Val is embroiled in this conspiracy, and we are along for the ride. Without saying much more about the plot specifics, I just have to say there is so much to love about Noctera. Tony S. Daniel makes a world that feels so detailed, with a scope that is just downright cinematic. This is, of course, bolstered by Scott Snyder's masterful hand, as he gives us a tight lens through Val Riggs' internal monologue, as well as gripping character dialogue. This first entry into the Noctera series is world-building done right. And I'll say it, for me, this is the most immersive a comic book has been for me in quite some time. I feel like I could not relish this collection more, and yet I am praying we get some kind of adaptation, because I want to see and be and breathe in this world a bit more. And for those that are uneasy around horror, I will say there are some light chills and scares, but the most fearful things, in my opinion, are just his suspense, and the insidiousness of some of this series' villains. Another note I would like to make about Noctera is it has a pretty consistent and pretty routine panel layout, meaning we have a lot of rectangular boxes, a couple big splash pages or two-page spreads, but nothing too exotic or loud or innovative, which in this day and age I found almost refreshing. I feel as though lately I've read a lot of collections that try to mix up the panel format to a degree that is both beautiful but can sometimes be convoluted or confusing. The flow of this narrative and the storytelling I feel like comes easy. And I was never once distracted by the way this stuff was presented. Say what you will, but I think I have fully bought into the hype of this series. I had high hopes that were exceeded. But now as we reach the end of the collection, I'm beginning to grieve the fact that I am a collected editions person, because that means I will have to wait so many more months to get the next volume of this incredible series. But I assure you, I will be waiting. And now, I think it's about time we gave this collection a grade. For one of the strongest series launches I have seen in quite some time, with impeccable world building, gripping characters, and an unbelievable scope. The Comic Book Report gives Noctera Full Throttle Dark, Volume 1, an A. I have no doubt that I hold in my hands the makings of a classic that I will willingly go back to over and over again. If you're in the mood for an action-adventure series that's light on the horror, Noctera is a must-read. Don't sleep on this one, and let me know if you've read this collection in the comments below. And that's going to do it for the Comic Book Report, Comics by Night. Join me every week by hitting that subscribe button, or checking out some of my other videos. Good night.